In the next example, what we're going to try to do is we will try to create a class outside of the employee 2 class and that class will be able to call or instantiate objects of the employee 2 class and will then be able to use the setters and getters just so that you can understand how you can establish this composition or association relationship between the two classes uh, in such a way that a class uh, that doesn't have any class structure of its own and only has a main method and is capable of instantiating objects of another class and be able to call the setters and getters and the whole nine yards. So basically exactly what you did, did in this class over here in the main method. But as you would have noticed the main method was part of the same class of whose objects it was creating. So let's try creating a new class here. Um, and I would like to call this class using employee2 just so that um, as the name suggests it will be using employee2 class and now let's uh, get rid of these okay and now uh, let me go to the employee2 class and just simply copy this code which I have already written for um, the employee2 class main method and I'll paste it in here just so that I don't have to retype it and it's a quick review for you as well that how the same code can be utilized from within the class or from outside of the class so all we gotta make sure that both classes can see each other and as you can see in the source they are part of the same package if they were part of different packages then we would have to write an import statement and import one class into other class so that it can use it uh, but since they are part of the same package we don't have to write any import statement and they can see each other so we can just simply just so that you can understand that we are uh, actually performing this um, let's change the name Anthony to a different name let's say Jackson or let's change the name Abby to a name Amy and let's let me also make some changes to the commission and we will now going to display this output. Now you're going to notice that uh, even though employee2 using employee2 is creating instances of employee2 class or objects of employee2 class uh, and this main will be executed and you will notice when the output gets generated that it is only this main as you can see the Jackson 980 Amy and 8968 all of these values are the values that are being pulled out or are given to uh, the employee two objects from here. Now this main has no relationship with the main that was in the employee two class. As we stated in the earlier tutorials that main is a static method that means only one copy of main can execute in the memory at any given time. So in this example we were able to create objects of employee two class from outside of the employee two class and then we were able to call the setters and we were able to call the getters to set and get the properties. Thank you.